since high schools look for ways to prevent concussions and head injuries, a handful of teams are trying the guardian cap. It is a padded cap players can pull on over their football helmets. KMBC Tonight's Karen Kornacki talked to a few players and coaches who are using them. They're using them, at least some at North, Olathe North, and Kearney. And coaches will tell you they are making a difference. I don't have any data. I just know the kids we have on them have not had more occurrences. We uh, were having about 15, uh, 15, and actually one year we had almost 20. I think we had 19. And so last year I think we had three, and this year right now we're about three. However, they're only worn in practice and not in a game, and for some players that is an issue. Friday nights it doesn't do anything, but it doesn't do anything to protect you, and most kids get concussed on Friday nights anyway, but it definitely helps in practice. Coaches say practice is where it counts. There's more repetition of things in, in uh, practice than there's a game. The more reps you're having, obviously the higher rate or increase you know, for concussion. Now, have you had a concussion? I have. I had one two weeks before the season started. This year? Yes. This and were you wearing your guardian cap? I was. And you still got a concussion? Yes, I did. Okay. Actually. How did that happen? Um, me and another guy, we were just doing a drill, and next thing you know, we hit heads and both fell. Each school uses them differently. At Olathe North, it's only for kids who've had concussions before. I'm, I'm sticking out like a sore thumb right now. Because <laughs> so. you honestly can't prevent a concussion, so I don't see the point in having a, this on if it's not going to prevent it. Just schools wasting money on it. Budgets are preventing schools from giving them to every player. Right now, there's just not enough proof that they really are making a difference. Karen Kornacki, KMBC 9 News. Now, as you heard, opinions vary. The only thing they seem to agree on is players who have previously had a concussion are not getting re-injured. But that could be because those players are now tackling differently.